Hello and welcome to Electronica TV. Tomorrow is opening day of Electronica 2016, the world's leading trade fair for electronic components, systems and applications. The entire electronic universe in a single location. More than 2,900 exhibitors will give you a good idea of what you can expect to see from the world of electronics. Electronica, like the Automotive Conference, happens once only every two years. And today is the official kickoff, the day before the trade fair actually begins. Experts and decision makers from around the world come here to get essential information about technological trends and strategies from the international automotive market. This year's theme, self-driving cars, safety and security, and interior electronics. I'm standing here with Steve Nadig from Daimler Trucks Northern America. Steve is an expert and one of the key speakers here at the Automotive Conference. Steve, good to have you here with us today. Thanks, Ann. Thank you. You addressed autonomous driving as far as trucks go a lot in your speech, obviously. Where do you see that taking us in the next 10 years? The next steps are really category two autonomous driving where we control the vehicle in the longitudinal direction, so being able to stop and start and accelerate and stop the vehicle. The other is to keep the vehicle in the lane. Mm -hmm. So that's really the, the next step would be level two. This means that the driver is still going to remain in the driver's seat. He still re needs to remain attentive, uh, but some of his workload, his, his daily um, focus on the road will be able to let him relax a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like it can present a lot of challenges. How are you going to keep the driver interested enough to be alert while the car is doing all the work? That's really going to be where the art is in terms of how you develop the HMI to make sure that the driver is available and capable of taking over the vehicle at any time that's necessary. We'll look at technologies like uh, driver facing cameras and seat detection to make sure that the driver is fully alert, fully fit, and able to take the vehicle at any time that it's, that it's necessary. I have another question for sure. you. How do you allow for the lag in time that it would take for a driver to realize that something's wrong and then grab the wheel? Well, that's, that's all part of the calculation in terms of the number of sensors that we have on the vehicle, mm -hmm. how far they're able to sense into the future, and then the calculation of when the driver really needs to take over and when the vehicle can drive autonomously. Yeah. Fascinating yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing what Daimler brings out in the next 10 years. Great. I am too. And we're really excited <laughs> about this new technology. Steve, thank you so much for answering these questions. Thanks, it was a real pleasure talking to you. It's a pleasure talking to you. It looks pretty empty here right now, but that won't be the case for long. We are going to take you on a journey through Electronica 2016. We'll be reporting daily from the trade fair. Some of the themes we'll be addressing this year are automotive. In the future, mobility will be shaped by developments in automotive electronics, smart lighting, autonomous driving, and connected vehicles, to name just a few, are closely related to electronic components and software developed around the world, now and in the future. Medical electronics. From diagnosis to treatment, electronics are a key technology in medicine. Embedded. Here at Electronica, the motto is Secure Networked Worlds. It's all about current operating systems and networking technology in electronical applications. Tomorrow is opening day here at Electronica 2016 and I am super excited. The theme for the day tomorrow, automotive on planet E.